Hi Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th of June 2020 and I hope you're well and safe and welcome to new people and my cyber angels thank you for your support and if you're new please click on the subscription button and click on the bell and all then you'll be notified when I go live on Monday, Wednesday or Friday I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a super chat or a super sticker if you would like an extensive reading then please go and have a look underneath the video in the description box or click on the white circle in the top right hand corner that will take you to the website there you can see all the different readings on offer and also the updates and reviews and interviews etc etc um, and I hope you will enjoy the readings if it doesn't resonate with you because it's a general reading have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign I hope that a lot of you have uh, uh, joined into the competition um, as uh, you will have you will learn how to use a vision board if you don't know and how to make one I will be going live from time to time at the end of June I'll be going live into discussion and if anybody has any issues questions um, then uh, you can ask in the live session about your vision board or the competition okay have a look um, uh, at the competition video and below there are also questions and instructions there is a video on what uh, you have to do to join into the competition also you have to be a member okay well I hope you've enjoyed the last seven uh, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, update on the yearlies and last week's and the romance I've had a, a, a very good response from the Gemini and from uh, Capricorn I will be uh, starting the uh, uploading the videos in the order of the most liked videos so if you want to be the first to receive your reading then uh, load up uh, sorry give me the likes and um, share and uh, like the video okay so I'm um, doing the reading differently and I haven't put all the cards out sorry about that I've been busy doing other things with astrology as well and I'm also doing uh, I'm also starting uh, learning uh, chakras and tarot and uh, yeah well loads of things I'll be doing a new video on that a review tarot and the chakras and really goes into depth so that's a fully fledged um, uh, what you might call it uh, thing to learn so I might start uh, if there is enough interest I might even start a course in that and I might start a meditation course but that will be private so let me know if you like that and we'll carry on I will I want to do this full time okay now um, uh, I this is the uh, extended spread that I do but I use more uh, clarification cards and oracle cards when I do an extensive reading but this week you usually see me using Monday Wednesday Friday a Saturday and Sunday so that's what I've done but I've put it in an other form of spread this is the uh, and you see the bottom of the deck and that is you you're my querent I'm pretending that you are sitting across me and this is the querent this is you so I'm going to work in, I'm not going to do the extensive reading otherwise it will be too long but I will be giving you a lot more answers and you might be able to follow it in this way much more easier so this is you and I'm going to work Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday then I'm going to take the, the cards in the corner, the Lenormand cards, and I'm going to work around the Lenormand. Same here and same there. Okay, and you're going to get, um, uh, that's the, uh, the Shadowlands and the Mirror Truth Lenormand. And I'm using the White Witch deck as um, a person that could be coming 
uh, in the deck, in the reading, or also the meaning of the card. This is the big arcana. In the big arcana, you have lots of zodiac signs represented by cards. Um, and I'm giving you an angel feather card. So let's start off with you, Aquarius. And this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th of June. And you have death. You're not death. <laughs> You're not dead. Okay, you're finishing off with a phase in your life. You're leaving the past behind and you want to start something new because this is a new phase. Also, number 13, which means fellowship in the I Ching, the yin and the yang, and 13 becomes a four, so that means that you are going into a stable place. Four is stability, also productivity. You are no longer the caterpillar, you are becoming the um, butterfly. You're in transformation at the moment. Perhaps it's because uh, you are thinking about what you want to do next, or you might have more choices, or you might um, um, yeah, you might want to choose an other direction. That is what I'm getting to hear. Ah, you want something that is long-lasting and stabi stable. Okay, now on Monday you have the Seven of Pentacles. So you are thinking, well, what are you going to do? Perhaps you have already sown the seeds and you've decided what you want to do. And it takes time to grow. So you're taking time out, transformation. You're nurturing it. You need perhaps a little bit more information with regards to something that you want to start. Perhaps you might want to fall in love and you've planted the seeds with a Scorpio. Okay. Now you have the Fool card. That also means to take a leap of faith. But the Fool, uh, the fool represents actually uh, everybody. Okay. Because he's the beginner. He is the beginner. Okay. So it's like a little bit in no man's land. The fool doesn't represent every anybody, but he also represents everybody because he is number naught. And so he's really coming out into the world. He doesn't know anything, and yet he knows everything because he's the beginning and the ending. It is not where you start or where you finish, but it's the journey. He is the journey. He has to learn. But at the same time, he can also represent the ending because it's not a number and he knows everything. Okay, in some decks he's right after 22 because there's 22 major arcana cards. These are the arcana cards and some decks they uh, there is number 23 which is also no number because there isn't 23 cards but he is number 23 either before or after might not make any sense to you I hope it does and neither this reading so have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign then um, on uh, Wednesday you have the nine of Pentacles there is a wish or a goal coming true and that could be that new beginning that you are starting on Wednesday with this new beginning then we go on to Friday and you have the nine of wands you've been through a heavy period but and you might have been wounded but you got over it you've healed okay you've taken time out to heal and you've learned how to heal that's why you're no longer the caterpillar you're the butterfly a new beginning where there is an end there is a beginning again an ending the wish is coming true the goal is coming true nine and nine is eighteen and 18, 8 and 1 is 9. 9 is a very important number. Besides that, now that you've got 9 and 9 and 18 becomes a 9, you've got 3 9s. So watch out for repetitive numbers of 9. Like all 9 by itself or 9 9 or 9 3 9 9 9. Okay, and you've got the 4 twice. Okay, 
in this deck it is called the Seeker and I might have been confusing with the number 23 but I've got a deck and it says number 23 and I've also got dice and in dice it is number 23 in the book but it is number naught on the dice on the uh, ruin the tarot ruin okay but he's also a very spiritual person because he is nothing and yet he's everything he's showing us take that leap of faith have faith okay look at the cat pointing I love this deck and you seek knowledge whilst you're on your journey you can always see the the fool or the seeker with either a rucksack or uh, uh, in the tarot, traditional tarot, it is like a red handkerchief or a ra red shawl. That it means that's earthed. He's got red shoes on here, so he is earthed. So um, that means he feels quite secure and yet uncertain. But he's got the red shawl here, but he's got a, a doctor's bag here. Um, one of those beautiful Victorian bags like um, oh gosh uh, Mary Poppins it ha is a magical bag he's got all the tricks in his bag don't lose your head over this new beginning even if it is uncertain of what it's going to bring you okay and here you've got the devil oh sorry uh, he looks a bit like a devil <laughs> the fool you've got looking at both ways to the past and to the future so learn he's learned from the past what he's uh, experienced on his journey and he's looking forward to the future so take that journey and in this deck it isn't the dog like in the traditional uh, tarot but it's the black cat so you're lucky the black cat is luck okay so don't lose your head just pick it up come out of your head and look to the future and learn from the past take that leap of faith you have enough experience to carry on on your journey and that is on at the weekend Monday Wednesday Friday and Saturday and Sunday and that's the total theme but that's also for me in this spread the queer end so that's the th uh, the theme you're leaving the past behind and you're taking that leap of faith and going into the future your wish is coming true or your goal is coming true you are focused on your goal lovely 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 now you've got the garden and the garden means reunion it also means presentations gatherings uh, gatherings like birthdays or celebrations or meetings or networking um, like you might be going to a gathering and you might be networking at the same time this is the seven of swords the seven of spades so be careful of untrustworthy people forewarned is forearmed and you've got number 20 you will remain in balance two is balance so just take it don't lose your head it's just above the seeker right don't lose your head about anything stay calm don't do anything in haste um, you've learned from the past that people can be sneaky and untrustworthy set your feelers out okay he's got little feelers on his head it looks like little bat ears and the bats listen with their or feel with their ears they tune into the um, energy the frequency okay I love it I love it there's so much in these cards okay so stay in your balance now all these four cards and you've sown the seeds so you are going to um, get the new uh, the new start you've already started by the feeling of it uh, because you've taken that leap of faith but you are aware of um, the past and what you've learned from the past your journey continues now we're going into this corner and you've got the letter so you will be getting news okay this is something hi guys 
this is number eight of spades and this is number seven um, so there is a, a printing fold so thank goodness I know my cards so you're going to have reunions, celebrations, getting togethers, presentations, meetings, gatherings and you might meet somebody there that is not quite pure or uh, true because this is the seven of swords and the eight of swords um, the eight of spades this is wrong it's the eight of spades garden that means that you might feel um, stuck you might feel pushed into a corner so be careful okay be careful you've got a warning here but you ha in this reading I will take the seven and the seven as good luck an eight and it's really an eight but as it is lying on the table I have to take it as it is whether it's a misprint or not I'll get back to the publishers about that because that um, is a mistake so with the seven of swords you've so you've got seven seven so that's an angel number they have your backs okay so your wish is coming true and you'll get news about your wish or goal so long you keep focused and you keep active and you keep it but wait for it manifest it visualize it affirm it okay then we've got the child and the child is um, a page of swords so there might be a young person that's bringing you news that could be um, the page of uh, swords is um, Aquarius so it could be an aquarium but it don't um, exclude um, Gemini or Libra number 13 is um, fellowship in the I Ching the yin and the yang so that means that you might get a new friendship and one and three is four so that means that um, uh, you you you're starting something that is sound as a pound proper foundations okay I'm getting to hear sound as a pound so it might be to do with money you might find out you're pregnant or hear of a birth this could be of a child or a new project new work new job <coughs> might be buying a new house and flipping it but it's got something to do also with money okay so here you are there's a new beginning this is the ending new beginning where there's an end there's a new beginning uh, I feel luck is on your side and my right hand is itching so right to receive left to leave okay so um, you m it might be coming in quickly and you might be giving it out as well so that is also a warning keep something for a rainy day now in this corner we have the house of uh, just the house in Lenamon and again you've got a four so you've got a four four in the same row again the angels are with you okay and you've got the king of hearts the king of cups so you might meet um, a cancer you might but don't exclude the other two Scorpio and Pisces who you might be meeting a beautiful nurturing loving passionate caring man Ooh. and I think you've had that one before and the house means safety protection you feel at home you f you feel safe there but it might also mean that you are isolating yourself you are and look at him he's sitting in the hands if this is you you need feel you need protection and security but you won't get any further anywhere if you keep on finding your protection you have to find your own protection you have to be your own big boss okay so come out of your comfort zone come out of your comfort zone don't rely on the king of water okay the king of water has reached the stage because that status because he's got his emotions under control so be the king of cups get into your emotional control and balance balance is in this row as well mm. you can take that leap of faith like I said it's safe okay now I hope you uh, will come out of your comfort zone leave the house 
usually in this we haven't got a garden gate but we've got the path straight up to the house and the door is closed nobody's going to come and knock on your door you have to go out there and network okay put yourself out there if you want to be noticed shine shine be the beacon okay now the angel card that you have is green angel feather simple things the angels would like you to take some time alone to gain a fresh perspective well that is what you're doing you're doing you are having a fresh perspective but you might receive news that will give you that beautiful start much quicker okay uh, on of your life get a fresh perspective of your life now the angel that is associated with the green angel feather is usually uh, Archangel Haniel uh, but I'll just check up for you um, the green angel feather okay and Archangel Raphael is here the green angel feather but Archangel Haniel is also green because the green chakra so perhaps that is a special message you've got double messages double numbers um, you are secure you've got nine 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 three nines you've got two fours <coughs> you've got two full cards two noughts so that means that the angels are protecting you and the divine so take that leap of faith but get a look he's lost his head it's on the ground put your head back on so that you can look down the mountains and get a bird's eye view okay it's like the cat move on he's <laughs> so get a bird's eye view get another perspective I love this reading so take care and be blessed and please share and like and give us the thumbs up I will be the one that has the most thumbs will be the first one next week in the reading take care take care I love you all stay safe